Sisters, neighbors in Jamaica, Caribbeans, the West, the four kinds of the earth scattered greetings. This reading or lesson is taken is talking about Yahuwah's living chariots, not to be compared with fallen angel technologies, aka unidentified flying objects. When in actuality it is fallen angel technology manifesting in the natural the reality of life but these things cannot be compared to the Mosai chariots because in fact those flying saucers are chariots but of the fallen angel technology the Mosai chariots are living chariots so it cannot be compared neither you shall be deceived of the two all right psalm 68 17 all these scriptures compiled to get a paint of story of the of of yahuwah's living chariots and his awesomeness and description and even then for you to see such a such such such, such an awesome uh, appearance, or to see that thing in natural, it cannot be described. Psalm sixty eight seventeen, sixteen eleven King James Version. If you have it, regular King James or the Sefer. The chariots of Eliakim are twenty thousand even thousands of angels Yahuwah is among them as in Sinai in the holy place 2 Kings 2 11 as they were going along and talking behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire which separated the two of them and Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven Isaiah 9 1 the oracle concerning Egypt behold Yahuwah is riding on a swift cloud and is about to come to Egypt and the heart of the Egyptian will melt within them. Ezekiel 1 15-21 Now as I looked at the living beings, behold, there was one wheel on the earth beside the living beings. For each of them, the appearance of the wheels and their workmanship was like sparkling bird and all four of them had the same form their appearance and workmanship being as if one wheel were within another whenever they move they move in any of the four directions without turning as they move as for their rims they were lofty and awesome and the rims of all four of them were full of eyes round about Whenever the living beings move, the wheels move with them. And whenever the living beings rose from the earth, the wheel rose also. Wherever the spirit was about to go, they go in that direction. And the wheels rose close beside them. For the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. Wherever those went, these went. And whenever those stood still, these stood still. And whenever those rose from the earth, the wheels rose close beside them, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. 
second king sings second kings six seven then elisha prayed and said o yahuwah i pray open his eyes that he may see and yahuwah opened his eye his servant's eyes and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around elisha Isaiah 66 15 For behold, Yahuwah will come in fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his, his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So you see the picture painting already so far. Living being, living chariots versus non living chariots. Alright. Jeremiah 4 13 Behold, he goes up like clouds, and his chariots like whirlwind, his horses are swifter than eagle. Woe to us, for we are ruined. Revelation 9 9 They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horse rushing to battle. Psalm 104 3 Bless Yahuwah. O oh my soul, O oh Yahuwah, my Elohim, the word very great, the word clothed with honor and majesty, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundation of the earth, that it should not be moved forever. Thou coverest it with the deep, as with a garment. The water stood still above mountains. Ezekiel 3.13 And I heard the sound of the wings of the living beings touching one another, and the sound of the wheels beside them, even a great rumbling sound. The cherubim appeared to have Ezekiel 10:8. The cherubim appeared to have the form of a man's hand under their wings. Ezekiel 10:12. And their whole body, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings, and the wheels that the four had were full of eyes all around. Revelation 4:5. Revelation 4:4-5. Four, four and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crown of gold, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Elohim. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion the second beast like a calf the third beast had the face of a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle revelation 4 8 and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him and they were full of eyes within and the rest not and the rest not day and night say holy 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 yahweh yakim almighty which was and is to come amen so you see brothers and sisters it's a terrifying and awesome and beautiful at the same time well, imagine to see this thing in the natural you could not compare you could not imagine and you couldn't even describe word would fly from your lips and would not form on your tongue blessed be yahuwah blessed be his holy son yahushua mashiach israel yashurael come back to yahuwah in yahushua mashiach name and keep his commandments and your enemies will fall before thy face the word of Yahuwah is true and just and right. Look around, see what's going on. The words are fulfilling. Japheth is in the land of 
of Shem, Israel, Yashrael, mixing with Esau. The words of the Most are fulfilling all over the earth, even in us, Israel, Yashrael. Come back to him. So them get up every day with them bag of champagne. This world of hell in their side. Destruction is the ultimate price. People open up your eyes. Only shallow, only shallow. Yes, people, this world is handing over to the wicked for a short period of time until the most I come and snatch it back away. Yes, I. So, Israel, prepare to meet Yahuwah. Gentiles prepare for war because the land of Israel is located northeast of Africa. The surrounding areas, the surrounding areas, praise Yah. I bless Jerusalem forever. Amen.